All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get us started. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Sam Merrill. I am the facilitator on part of WACAC. Thank you so much for joining our college exploration experience for all of our wonderful Wisconsin students. We're so happy to have you here this afternoon. Um, if you do have any questions during this session, please feel free uh, to reach out. Your camera and your mic are, are often muted, so the only way to ask a question is to use that Q&A function um, and one of the panelists from the schools will respond to your questions. Um, these recordings will be available on our website um, within a couple of days, so please feel free to check back for any other sessions that you maybe weren't able to make or come back and check this one out later. And definitely sign up for more sessions. We have great things uh, the rest of the day and all of next week. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over uh, to our wonderful panelists. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. Um, my name is Nicole Ryan. I am a Regional Admission Advisor for uw Platteville and our two branch campuses at Baraboo Sauk County and uw Platteville Richland. Uh, we, um, I am joined by my two colleagues today, Rachel Stern from UW-Milwaukee, Washington County and UW-Milwaukee at Waukesha and Sarah Harvey from UW-Whitewater at Rock County. Excellent. So to start us off this afternoon, um, we're really happy to have you here today. We wanted to just kind of explain a little bit more about who the branch campuses are within the UW system. Um, as you can see from the map, um, this was a recent reconstruction uh, that we had take place in about 2018. So right around that summer, July time of 2018. And our two-year campuses all across the state um, became two-year branch campuses to their respective four years. So they have that partnership and that affiliation with the four-year institution, um, as you can see from the map here. Um, so I'll use myself as an example, Waukesha and Washington County became a part of UW-Milwaukee. We do offer associate's degree programs, and for many of us, that may look a little bit different. So that's why we're here today to kind of share a little bit more from our three institutions. Um, and we are, again, going to be located throughout the entire state of Wisconsin. So the application process for the two-year schools is a shared application process through the University of Wisconsin system. To apply to a branch campus, you will do the UW system application that is located at apply.wisconsin.edu. And um, to apply to one of the two-year branch campuses, you will find the uh, respective four-year campus, hover above it, and then a drop-down menu will come, uh, come up and show you uh, the different branch campuses that are affiliated with that four-year campus. So you can go ahead and click on that and start your application. There is a $25 application fee. Um, students who qualify for a fee waiver may go ahead and use a fee waiver as well. And if you're curious, if you qualify for a fee waiver, please reach out to an admissions representative and we can go ahead and walk you through that process. All students will turn in a copy of their high school transcript. We'd like you to turn in a copy of your transcript upon application, as well as an additional official high school transcript when you graduate. ACT and SAT scores are not required, um, but you are certainly welcome to send them in if you would like to. Some branch campuses are using your ACT or SAT scores for class placement. And if your branch campus is doing that, they will notify you after you're, you're admitted to that campus. The application has already opened for the fall 2021 school year. Um, so please feel free again to visit apply.wisconsin.edu to get your application started. And all of our branch campuses are open access institutions. And what we mean by this is we want to be affordable and accessible to all students. So I will get started to just share a little bit more about UW-Milwaukee and our branch campuses at Waukesha and Washington County. 
We um, do offer our associate's degree of arts and sciences. So this is a general associate's degree for students to not only have the opportunity to start their major if they are interested in transferring to that four year institution, um, but their associate's degree also will cover general education classes as well as first and second level courses within that liberal arts curriculum within the UW system. So students who are starting at, at Waukesha and Washington County are taking intro level courses, general education classes, English and math graduation requirements that would be applicable to both their associates and their bachelor's degree programs. Students who are also starting with a major in mind can take those intro and second level courses. Um, and as they are working with their academic advisors and their transfer plan, they will make sure to double check that all their classes are going to transfer to that institution of their choice. For a little bit of background on each individual campus, Washington County is located in the city of West Bend. Um, so we're about 45 minutes, 50 minutes north of the city of Milwaukee, where our main campus is at UWM. Our student body is only about 700 students, so it's very, very small um, campus by all means compared to UW Milwaukee. And we do have an average class size of about 18 students. Um, so that does mean that you are going to have more specialized uh, attention with your professors. You will be able to have um, those one on one conversations with your professors and your classmates during discussion periods as well. Most of our students are transferring directly to UW Milwaukee to finish up their bachelor's degree, but we do also have very strong connections, not only throughout the UW system through Oshkosh and Green Bay, um, but also very locally. We have a lot of students who will be working and transferring to Concordia University, which is very nearby. Lakeland University is another great option as well. So there is that opportunity for students to meet with private institutions and work through that transfer process so they have everything that they need. UW Waukesha, UWM at Waukesha has approximately 1400 students, so it's a little bit larger of a campus. Um, and we do have an average class size there of about 21, I would say to 22 students. So still relatively small, as I like to put it, you are never going to have those overly large lecture halls that you may see on our main campus students are going to have um, those much smaller class spaces and it gets smaller and smaller per, as you get into those second level courses. We are a commuter campus on both Waukesha and Washington County. So students are going to be living at home with parents or guardians, um, or they can find um, rentals available if they would prefer to live, rent an apartment on their own um, as well within the general area. Some of our top transfer majors that we see at both of our campuses, um, especially at Waukesha, is going to be business, education, health sciences, and engineering. So we work really closely with our students who know that their goal may be to continue on into engineering at UW-Milwaukee or to continue on in nursing to make sure that they're taking all of those pre-major courses and general education courses as well. For student involvement, I always like to talk about this with my prospective students because this is a really great opportunity because you can start getting involved right away your freshman year of college and you can also get involved in a lot of leadership opportunities at our two year campuses. You don't have to wait until junior or senior year of college. Um, you can start getting involved in our student activities board, student government right away your freshman year. Um, so for many of our students, this is a really great opportunity, not only as you're transitioning from high school to college, but you can start building up that leadership experience outside of the classroom if you want to as well. We do have clubs and organizations on both of our campuses. We also do have athletic intramural and club programs as well with our teams. Um, so that is something that students can get involved in right away um, their freshman year as well so that you can start adding um, to your resume, adding to your transfer application when you are moving on to that four year program. We do also have an honors program at both of our, our branch campuses. So this is something that is very new for our branch campuses, especially at Washington County and students can participate in honors classes. They can also then transition into the honors program at UW Milwaukee or the honors program to the college and institution that they are transferring to as well. Research is another great um, opportunity. UW Milwaukee is an R1 research institution. And so we do have a lot of opportunities on both of our branch campuses. 
Waukesha also has an outdoor environmental facility um, that's a little ways away from campus um, in the Wales Oconomowoc area, but that is a research facility for our biological sciences students, for our environmental sciences students to be able to utilize as well and participate in projects. For transfer options, there is going to be um, a good number of options that are available for all of our students. We do have a streamlined internal transfer process to UW-Milwaukee. We are not expecting our students to transfer and apply as a transfer student again and fill out that second application. You are already considered a UW-Milwaukee student. So instead, you are going to be going through a very quick internal transfer process to our main campus bachelor's programs. Students can also utilize the Guarantee Transfer Program. Um, this is still in place for the entire UW system, including to Madison. And this is a really great option for students who already may have that four-year campus in mind and they know where they want to transfer to um, after their first year or two years at Waukesha or Washington County. We do work really closely with private institutions. I know that I already named a couple, um, and I know that Carroll University, Alverno, Mount Mary, um, MSOE, just as a few, Marquette University, um, very locally kind of within our area are a lot of the branch campuses that we immediately work with, or private institutions, excuse me, that we immediately work with and we have articulation agreements with them so that, again, you know right away what classes you will need to take to transfer to that institution. So a lot of great options and resources available on both campuses to help you through that process. If you are interested in joining and applying to either of our two campuses, I do want to go through our application process a little bit as Milwaukee went through some updates for our fall 2021. Currently, um, we are available through the UW system application. This is the picture that I posted of the UW system homepage to kind of get a feel for that. Um, this website went through a major update recently, so this is something to keep in mind as you are going through that process is it may look a little different if you have ever kind of logged on or see someone else use this application in the past. We also became a part of the common application this year for fall 2021. So both um, applications are available for Waukesha and Washington County applicants. We do have the $25 application fee and we do take a look at high school transcripts. For fall 2021, we will not require ACT or SAT test scores. So that is not a part of our required materials to review for admissions. That is up to a student um, if they would prefer to have their application reviewed with those test scores. Um, but otherwise, we will review right away on a rolling admissions basis on your, based on your high school transcript. On average, to kind of give um, a little bit of a freshman profile for our branch campuses, our incoming students have about 2.0 GPA. Um, and in the past, when we were using ACT scores, that ACT range was about 22 to, uh, or excuse me, a 20 to a 21, um, sometimes 20 to a 22 composite. Um, so that is our middle 50th percentile of our incoming class to Waukesha and Washington County. In regards to tuition and fees, because um, I do want to make sure that we're keeping this my, in mind as we are looking at our college options um, and as we are applying to colleges, especially for uh, any of our seniors here today, um, we have our tuition set at about $5,000 a year for Waukesha and Washington County. So that does mean about $2,500 per semester. The other expenses that we tell students to keep in mind since we don't have housing on our, our either of our campuses would be textbooks, supplies, and transportation back and forth. That's not necessarily a charge that UWM is placing onto our students. Um, that's just an estimate that we provide students to keep in mind as they are preparing for college. We do accept and encourage students to submit the FAFSA, and we also do have scholarship opportunities for both Waukesha and Washington County students. So these can be very specific to students just coming to Waukesha as an incoming freshman or as a continuing student their sophomore year and for just Washington County students. So I highly recommend checking out those opportunities. In many cases, um, we do have an, a large number of students every single year who can come out of our, our associate's degree program or out of their first year at our branch campuses debt-free. Um, so this is a really great opportunity that I want students to keep in mind for sure. That is it for me today because I want to make sure to leave enough time for my other two panelists today. Um, but this is my contact information as well as links to our visit opportunities, both virtual and on campus. Um, on campus, we do have limited capacity, so I would encourage you to register for a visit online. 
Um, but if you do have any questions um, after today, please feel free to call, text, or email me. Thank you, Rachel. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the um, branch campuses uh, at uh, UW Platteville. I got my right screen. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking about uh, University of Wisconsin Platteville, uh, Baraboo Sauk County, uh, located in Baraboo, Wisconsin, less than an hour north of Madison, and then University of Wisconsin Platteville at Richland, which is in Richland Center, about an hour and 15 minutes uh, west of Madison. So both of our campuses uh, offer an Associate of Arts and Sciences. Uh, we have a few specialized associate degrees too. So for students who know they want to go into a particular area of study and want to get kind of a jump start on that, uh, we do have an AS in Business Administration where students can take uh, marketing and finance type classes. Uh, we have an AS in Food and Agriculture where well, they'll, they'll take uh, classes in agribusiness. Uh, crop and soil science and other related classes to that. And then finally an AS in uh, pre-engineering uh, where you get uh, exposure and a nice solid foundation. Uh, this is great for students who know they want to go into engineering but maybe aren't sure uh, which particular field of engineering. It's a great way to, uh, to start out. So our campus at Baraboo Sauk County, uh, less than 500 uh, enrollment at that campus. So a very small campus, uh, about a 14 to one student to faculty ratio. So your instructors are definitely going to get to know you by, by face and name. Uh, we do have um, Wisconsin Collegiate Conference uh, Athletics at Baraboo. We have women's basketball and volleyball, as well as men's basketball. And we also have a lot of great clubs and organizations. So, uh, you know, just as important as what you do uh, inside the classroom is what you're doing outside of the classroom. Uh, they have everything from archaeology club to gaming clubs, disc golf, uh, lots of great ways for students to get involved and uh, network and meet other people. Our campus at Richland, a little bit smaller than our campus at Baraboo, about 350 total enrollment there, a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. So again, uh, definitely get to know your instructors. They'll get to know you. Uh, also part of the Wisconsin Collegiate uh, Conference. They have men's basketball at Richland as well as women's basketball and volleyball. Uh, we have everything from Black Student Union to International Club. Um, to my personal favorite paranormal researchers club uh, so lots of great ways uh, there as well to get get involved so our admission requirements pretty straightforward we are usually looking for uh, these what we call pre-college um, or I'm sorry college prep uh, classes so four units of English four years of English um, three years of math um, most students, uh, we'd like to be in the top 75% of their graduate, graduating class. And we do have um, right around a 99% acceptance rate. Uh, we really want it to be the branch campuses to be a realistic option for uh, as many students as possible. So change of campus, uh, very straightforward. Um, students who start out at one of our branch campuses, uh, they go through a very simplified process. Uh, it's just a matter of um, filling out a change of campus form. So there's no reapplying, um, no paying separate fees or anything like that. Uh, as long as you're in good standing, um, good academic standing, you're eligible to change campuses anytime after your first semester at uh, either of the branch campuses. 
So uh, the application process, again, uh, fairly straightforward. We are part of the UW system application, uh, which as Rachel mentioned, just undergone, um, has undergone this summer some updates and revisions, uh, making it, I think, even more user friendly than it was before. Uh, there's just a $25 application fee. Uh, students are able to indicate uh, if you need a, an application fee waiver, it's just a simple uh, button that you click on that application now, uh, those high school transcripts. And the, uh, I think this was also mentioned as well, but um, the requirements of the test scores uh, have been suspended. Um, so you don't have to worry about those. Uh, we are still offering merit scholarships based on uh, GPA. And the application is officially open as of August 1st. So a few uh, cost figures. Um, the costs are just a little bit different um, at each of our branch campuses, not, not, not too different, but uh, Wisconsin residents with housing and a meal plan, uh, just over 12,000 a year. Uh, now those tuition and fees actually include quite a few amenities. Uh, we have a textbook rental service. Uh, you have access to health and counseling services, uh, free tutoring, a lot of great uh, amenities included in those uh, tuition and fees. Uh, the nice thing is that you're, if you're coming from a little bit of a distance, uh, we do have residence halls on site and, um, and your meal plan is part of that $12,000 as well. At Richland, uh, the costs are pretty similar. Um, the, we also have residence halls at uh, our Richland Center location. Uh, so again, if you're um, not in the immediate area, um, you can definitely apply for one of the residence halls. Uh, tuition room and board, just over 11,000 for Wisconsin residents at, uh, at Richland. I'm just going to mention quickly our uh, visit program at our branch campuses. Um, so every Wednesday uh, at our Richland campus, we you have an option to register for an on-campus visit or a virtual uh, info session or virtual visit. Uh, at Baraboo, we do those every Friday. So at Baraboo, you can do a virtual visit or an on-site visit um, any Friday. And you just go to our visit website there um, to register for your uh, visit. You do have to register ahead of time. Uh, we are limiting the number of students on our campuses this fall. All right, and now I am going to switch screen over for us. There we go. All right, so my name is Sarah Harvey and I am with the University of Wisconsin Whitewater at Rock County. Um, the Rock County campus is located in Janesville, Wisconsin, which is about 28 miles away from Whitewater, Wisconsin, where the main campus is at. Um, Janesville is just off of I-90. So we have Madison to the north and Chicago to the south. So we're kind of smack dab in the middle of that. Um, we're right on the Rock River. Our campus is right on the Rock River. So we've got really beautiful scenery all around our campus. Um, we have a really vibrant downtown, which is super fun. Lots of boutique shops and events that are going on around uh, the Janesville area for our students. All right. So our uh, UW-Whitewater Rock County um, College offers an Associates of Arts and Science degree. Um, our Associates of Arts and Science degree is fully transferable to all of the four-year UW campuses, also participating with the Guaranteed Transfer Program for students that are looking to guarantee transfer out of the UW-Whitewater uh, University. Um, we do have UW Platteville's engineering partnership on our campus. Um, so students that would like to start with UW Whitewater Rock County um, can do their first two years, earn their associate's degree, apply to Platteville's mechanical or electrical engineering program, and actually complete that program on the Rock County campus. So they earn that Platteville engineering degree 
um, without um, having to move away um, from the campus that's closest to them. We also offer a Bachelor's of Applied Arts and Science degree, and um, the BAAS, as we call it, is a degree that's offered to students who have completed a technical associate's degree. So students that complete a technical degree through uh, Madison College, Mad uh, Milwaukee Area Technical College, Black Hawk Technical College, um, Southwest Tech Gateway, um, those students are able to take their associate's degree from that technical school and um, continue on for junior and senior year with the Bachelor's of Applied Arts and Science degree, ultimately earning a bachelor's degree in a more generalized field. Our total enrollment at the Rock campus is about 800 students. So our average class size is going to be around 19. Um, we do offer one-on-one -on -one advising for all of our students. So any students that have questions on their classes, um, on prerequisites for their majors, on transfer options, they can go ahead and make that one-on-one -on -one appointment with their advisor. We do have free tutoring for all students in all classes. All they need to go do is go down to our Learning Support Center on campus and they can access tutoring that way. And we have a one-stop solution center. And what this means is, is we have a solution center desk that students can um, come and ask any questions that they have. Questions about advising, financial aid, events going on on campus, um, questions on tutoring. Um, so we are able to answer most of those questions right there um, with our information specialists. So students can get the answers to their questions right away, um, right when they walk in the door. We do have several shared services through the Whitewater main campus through our merger with them. Um, all students on both campuses have access to the Center for Students with Disabilities. Um, we have health services at both campuses. So we do have um, health areas that students can go um, for, for general health reasons. Um, we have tutoring at both campuses available, as well as career and leadership development and study abroad opportunities. So lots of things between the two campuses that students can be a, a, a part of either campus and partake in. We do have a seamless transition um, to our Whitewater main campus. Um, if a student um, starts with the Rock campus and earns 12 credits and a 2.0, which is about one semester's worth of classes and has a cumulative 2.0, at any time after that, they're able to transition over to the main Whitewater campus. And we do this with a cross campus form, which is very simple allowing students to take the classes that they need at the Rock County campus, and when they're ready, they can transition over to the Whitewater main campus. We do have several clubs and organizations. Because we have shared services between the campuses, um, clubs and organizations at either location are able to um, be for students for either location. So if you are a student at the Rock Campus, you're welcome to join a club at the main campus. If you're a student at the main campus, you're welcome to join a club or an organization at the Rock Campus. Between the two of us, we have about 200 different organizations. We have interests clubs. We have student government opportunities on both campuses. Um, students can join uh, fraternities, sororities, we have honors associations, as well as we have club sports available for all students. Okay. Sorry, backwards, need to go forwards. Okay, there we go. So our students, because we have shared services and shared campuses, uh, shared services between the two campuses, we have students uh, that attend the Rock Campus for classes who are able to take the option to live at the UW-Whitewater main campus. Um, so this gives the opportunity for students that maybe want smaller class sizes, but to have that traditional four-year experience right off the bat. Um, we have about 100 students living in the dorms at Whitewater right now who will be commuting to the Rock County campus this semester. 
and we commute those students via a free shuttle and free buses. Um, so we have a couple of large buses as well as several um, smaller shuttles that we use for students to get them back and forth between the campuses and those shuttles and buses run several times a day. As far as cost of attendance goes, again, very similar to the rest of the branch campuses. Um, Full-time tuition for one semester um, at the Rock Campus is going to be about $2,648. Um, so that would be for an in-state resident. Um, students who choose to uh, live on the Whitewater main campus will have that additional housing option as well, which also includes their meal plan. Um, our textbooks are included in a textbook rental system and our segregated fees are also included in that tuition that's reflected above. Um, we do have the opportunity for students to take fully online classes through UW Extended Campus. That does come at a different tuition rate and books for those classes are not included in the rental, uh, rental system that's for the Rock County Campus students. Um, if you were to take a combination of online classes and face-to-face -face classes at the Rock County campus, your advisor would assist you in figuring out which books would be on rental and which books would be for purchase. Application process, again, very similar to the rest of the branch campuses, apply.wisconsin.edu. We do have that $25 application fee. Um, official high school transcripts and then optional ACT, SAT scores for your application review. At the Rock Campus, we do ask that students submit their ACT and SAT scores for uh, class placement. So even though it may not be needed uh, to um, in, uh, be admitted into the campus, we will ask you for those scores just to place you in English and math classes. And very similar to the other branch campuses, we also are a 99% acceptance rate at our school. We really pride ourselves on being accessible and affordable to all students so that they can begin their UW journey. We welcome you to come visit us at the Whitewater Rock County campus. We offer tours at two o'clock every Tuesday. Um, so you can visit our uh, website to register for a tour. Um, if the tour Tuesday at two doesn't work out for you, we also have a self-guided tour set up through the app Goose Chase. And so students are welcome to come on campus and do a Goose Chase tour as well. So we'd like to uh, make sure that you guys have our contact information. So this is going to be Rachel Stern, uh, her contact information for uh, the branch campuses at Milwaukee, Nicole Ryan for the branch campuses at Platteville, and then myself, uh, Sarah Harvey, for the branch campus of UW Whitewater. So now we'd like to open this time for any questions. If you do have questions, feel free to put them in the question and answer section. And if there are no current questions for this session, please feel free to email any of us or your admissions representative for the campus that you're looking to apply to. Nicole or Rachel, any other comments before we close? I don't think so. Thank you, everyone. We really appreciate it. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Keep an eye out on all of our websites for different things happening this fall. We're doing lots of things like webinars and workshops and all kinds of ways to support you while you're um, working um, or learning virtually this semester. So check our websites. Absolutely. 
Um, and we also invite you to um, visit WACAC.com for more sessions. There are several sessions going on. All of them have been recorded and we do invite you to attend and watch those. Thank you.